Well, here we go again, another tournament. This is the biggest tournament I've ever been a part of. I definitely feel a little out of place in this one. There's gonna be over 100 anglers in this one, which means really big payout, but it's 100 the best anglers from Tennessee, from all over. I just talked to a guy, he's staying at the same place I'm staying at. He's from Nashville. There's people from all over, gotta be fishing here, especially, and then there's the local guys that I fish with that kill it in this area. So. I'm at a campsite here. I'm actually on Watts Bar. Camp, the uh, tournament is two-day tournament on Watts Bar tomorrow and then the next day. And uh, so me and Josh are gonna get a campsite and just stay here. Probably just gonna sleep in my truck just to make it easier. So it saved me an hour and a half drive every from going back home and coming back. And Josh will be here any minute. Um, I, I would like to compare, I always wanna compare everything to basketball, but fishing is totally different than basketball. If it was basketball, I'd have a lot more confidence and at least I know what's going on. The goal doesn't change, the court doesn't change, the basketball doesn't change, and fishing, everything can change. You have your kayak, your fishing poles, and you have no idea what the fish are gonna do, no idea what they're gonna bite on, where they're gonna be at, what the weather's gonna do to affect them, what they're gonna do in the morning, the evening. So it's a totally different challenge, unlike anything, and it really makes you wanna try hard. I really wanna do well in this one. Hopefully I can place uh, you know, top 10 would be amazing. Um, that would be, that'd be, that would probably get paid out top 10. Realistically, if I can just get in the top half, you know, I'm probably doing all right. Um, I'm going, I don't even know where I'm going. I haven't decided. Tomorrow morning, we're going to go to check in. They're going to have like a meeting. Then we're going to go out and pick a place and I'm going to fish somewhere eight hours. About time this guy got here. Man, this is horrible. Sitting over here in my chair, right beside the truck. Kayak's sitting right there, the water's right there, but I can't start fishing yet. I just saw a fish like blow up over there. It went, I don't know if it was big or not. I was aggravating because the lines are in at 11 o'clock and we got like 30 more minutes to go. Whew, I never had this feeling really before. Usually when you go fish, you just start fishing. And most times the tournament start in the morning. Tomorrow's gonna start before it even gets light. But today I have to wait. Just don't overthink it. I got my lures tied on. Everything is ready to go. Everything's set up. All I got to do is jump in the kayak and start casting. But I got to wait 30 more minutes. 11 o'clock. I'm going to start casting. Oh, my goodness. How about time? Let's get to fishing, people. There we go. <laughs> Three minutes in. I think there's gonna be a lot of these little ones back here. I kept seeing stuff busting. I'm just happy I caught a fish <laughs> after waiting all this time. Look how skinny that thing is. Ten and a half inches. I don't care if it is a tiny little fish. Oh man, feels good just to get a fish. Literally like three minutes in, but there's a bunch of little bit hits back here. There's definitely little ones in here. Can there be some bigger ones? Of course there can. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a big fish. That's a big fish. Oh, yes. Wow, what a start. Yes. It's a long, skinny fish. Perfect for these tournaments. Never underestimate the yum dinger. I'm glad I started with this. Four inch yum dinger. That's been like my go-to for a while. 
it just keeps on getting fish. That is a ugly, long, skinny bass, but it counts. Not going by pretty. Dude, his mouth is all messed up. Dude, this is like a rough fish. His mouth won't close though. They make they duck big points. All right, I'm getting this guy back in the water. He is unhealthy. Dude, I wonder if he swallowed a lure or something at one point. Oh man, I feel bad for that guy. Hey, you're free. Dude, he's like surfing across the top of the water. All right, make sure I got the photo and I'm gonna go ahead and get back to fishing. Another one. <laughs> Another skinny one, but I think that might be 12 inches. That's another ugly skinny one, but it's 13 inches. Two keepers in. I like it. Holy cow. Oh, that about scared me half to death. I was reeling it in and he hit it across the top. That's the second time it hit like that. So I'm about to get into a tree. So far, still only caught a fish on the yum dinger, which this is the main thing I've thrown, but I have thrown a few other lures. That my crankbait, spinnerbait, and a couple other things, just a little bit, but I've mainly stuck with that and it's work. This is the fourth fish in a couple hours in. This one hit as I was pulling it back across the top. You probably heard it on camera. Oh, they're still hitting. I came back into the same cove that I started with. Kind of went out and came back around and caught another one. I may just keep making loops. Relax your tail. Ooh, 14 and a half. If he'll relax his tail. Wet him down a little bit. I think we're gonna get some more fish out of here, hopefully. At least, I at least wanna get my limit, you know, early as possible, and then I can kinda of relax and go for bigger fish, or just hopefully I come across bigger fish. I don't even think it's a big fish, but he hammered it. Oh, that's what probably these fish are. <laughs> it's a white bass. I mean, there's been tons of activity, a lot of little hits. This dude smoked the top water. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> I know it didn't count, but it's still pretty fun. lost a solid fish. I don't even know how it came off. That's what I'm really trying not to do today, lose fish. 
Well, let's take a look at the time, give a little update here. 2.07, so I got till three, four, five, six, almost five hours more to fish, wow. It felt like it's been a long time, but it's only been three hours so far, 11 to two. I've got three keepers. That one right there would have been a keeper, wasn't a giant, but I just lost one. The wind died down, it's beautiful out here. It's calm water. I'm gonna start working my way out this channel. There were several boats out here earlier, so they've been fished pretty hard out that way, but I'm gonna work my way out of this channel. Um, there were, I think there were some white bass hitting back there, but um, didn't kind of didn't see as many bass, uh, largemouth blowups, and the, the bait fish kind of died down. They may be low or something. And I, the wind was pushing this way, so now it's calm. I think those fish can be more spread out, and let's go get them. Oh, that thing is fired up. Wow, that was literally, I just reset my camera a minute and a half after I just turned the camera off and missed that last one. Ooh, this one's gonna be a keeper. It's gonna be 12 and a three quarters. All right, got that one on the board. You know, this is one, I hope I get one bigger than this, but if this is my smallest one, it's not horrible. Stay on there, stay on there, stay on there. What is that? Is that a small mouth or a drum? That's a smolly. Nice one too. Wow, that's a solid smolly. Once again, it is an ugly fish. What is up with these fish? Hold on. Let's take a look at this one. All right, so first off, look at that. Then, look at this. I'm not doing this on purpose. I don't know what the deal is. Every fish I've caught has just been scarred up, nasty. I guess those are the only ones I can get to bite. <laughs> it's been weird. That is like a decent sized smallmouth. I didn't really think I'd be getting into smallmouth here, but I'm getting closer to the main part of the river, so. Oh, this thing looks ugly. This I, this is the weirdest day of like the nastiest fish. 16 inches. He'd be he'd be 18 inch fish if he was shaped normal. Goodness. That oh, I hate I hate that for that fish. I think I should have killed every one of the fish I caught today. <laughs> Except for like one or two. That's a he's 16 inches. Should be 18. He's deformed, he's got gashes. Hey, it doesn't go by bite, and it doesn't go by looks. It's just how long they are. We're halfway through the day. It's been a long day. It's weird because it got started late. I'm hungry. I'm already a little tired. I got my five fish, though. I That's that's the goal you try to get. Everybody's out here trying to at least get five um, to make a limit. Now, anything bigger, I knock off the smaller one and start upsizing. Got four hours to fish, and we fish till seven, so it's gonna be evening time by the time we get done. So we got an evening bite maybe coming on. Um, I'm out here getting closer to the river. I'm gonna fish these channels, these ledges, and who knows what I'll get here. So everything I've caught has been on that Yumdinger weightless. I think I'm getting in deeper water. I think I'm gonna start changing things up, start messing around. I've tried other lures, just can't get anything else to bite. Um, we may stick with that, we may go some other stuff. Hopefully we'll figure something out and love to get a couple more 18 inches Maybe a nice 20 inch or something like that would be really awesome. But first I gotta, I'm gonna relax just a second. I'm gonna eat the snack, drink something, and um, just kind of rig up a couple rods to get back out here and fish the rest of the day with no pressure. And I'm gonna upload those to the leaderboard just to get them on there, get them on, make sure I got it all uploaded and I'm, everything's good. Right. 
been a minute since we landed our last fish. This guy looks like one I caught earlier. Dude, I wonder if he's the same one. Dude, that looks just like one I caught earlier. Like the first fish of the day. Now he's longer. He's 12 inches, but not enough to, not long enough to help us out. <laughs> Another long skinny one. What? winding down towards the end of the day I had a uh, two misses I was like what did I miss and I uh, came back again finally got him another white bass but there's a uh, see it is 612 and fish until 7 I'm working my way back into the cove and the last two or three hours has really been bad it started out great this morning but it's really slowed down i can't really figure anything out keep going through different lures that one was on a helgramite i thought maybe i could get something on it and i'm gonna fish it a little bit more up through here then we're gonna go back into that shallow water and maybe they're back in there we'll just end the day out right where we started right by the truck And that's gonna end out this video. It's a wrap, me and Josh sitting around the fire. I just got ranch on myself. I saw it and bought a pizza. I needed, I had to get some food. And uh, so, and I got chocolate milk to drink, put me to sleep. It's like 8.30, but it feels like it's midnight because we're so tired. Um, let me just wrap up, I guess everything really quick here. So, end of day one, tomorrow starts at six in the morning. So we're gonna probably get to bed pretty quick. I'm sleeping in my truck, Josh has got a, tent and everything um but uh yeah this it's been a pretty fun event so far tomorrow after the fishing there's going to be like an event we're going to go to i think they're going to feed us right i think they're going to have some music and yeah. stuff so there's going to be some stuff going on tomorrow i might try to show some of that and today i did good for i guess what was going on i don't really know what the leader is and i'm not even sure if it if it's a combination of our fish for today i think it's going to be just the top five fish from today and tomorrow so i got a couple of decent ones i got that that one was a 17.75 and i got a 16 which are solid fish so hopefully i can go somewhere and find some fish tomorrow i don't even know where i'm gonna go but we'll worry about that on the next video thanks so much for watching and uh, i'm gonna get to bed here well good morning i'm not in a video making mood but i guess i'll give the intro it's six o'clock saturday morning second day of the two-day tournament um, actually lines are in right now, so you can start fishing right now, but I'm still at my campsite. But I'm only going to go a little ways away. I'm going to a new spot today that I've never been to before. I fished yesterday, it was okay, but I didn't really figure much out, so I'm going to try a new spot today. we got 10 hours to fish today, so I'm not in a hurry to get there, and plus it doesn't get light till 7.30, so I'll get an hour and a half of dark. I'm not a huge fan of fishing in the dark, I just never catch anything, I guess. So, um, yeah, I'm just about to leave the campsite gonna get to my spot put in I think I got a light that'll show up if I do catch a fish and as I'm fishing but that's the start and that's how we're gonna start today today's tournament is 10 hours long so it's a long day Today's tournament actually builds off of yesterday. I thought it was a combination of yesterday's tournament, like the top five and the day's top five. Well, no, it's the top five fish from both days. So that's really interesting. I've never done one like this. So that means someone that did horrible yesterday could win it today. Um, someone that did awesome yesterday could lose it because somebody catches more. You know, it's it could swing a lot faster and it really just takes your best your best five fish from both days. So. I do have a couple good fish to build off of, 
So my goal is instead of trying to just catch a limit today, it's just to build off of what yesterday is. So starting with like 15 inch, you know, I just need to get a 15 inch, then a 16, then a 17. But you know, really, I'm really need to get like a, a 20, a couple, a 20 incher or a couple around that size. If I'm really want to place high in this tournament. Oh, I got it. What do I have? I got something huge. I got something huge. It's probably not a bass. What is it? It better be stay hooked. I think it's a catfish. Oh, it's a catfish. Whew. <laughs> That'll get your heart going. This is the first bite I've had all day. Oh man, that dude ran with it. <laughs> oh, blue cat. Or wait, maybe a channel. I can't remember. I think it's. A, let me get a look at it here. That oh, looks like a channel cat. Well, that little thing caught a fish. Oh, goodness. It's like a. Uh, four five probably five pound channel cat <laughs> it's almost nine o'clock i started i got out here like 6 45 is the first bite i've got so not been ideal haven't really figured much out but i, I went back in these coves that I, I thought we're gonna be fishing there there was like nothing back there it seemed really dead not even bluegill so i'm gonna head get back out of here and start heading back towards my truck and if I don't get anything on the way I'm gonna move and go to another spot what the heck is that a grasshopper where did the thing come from did that thing swim across the whole lake it's a giant grasshopper I just looked up and saw it twitching across the water. How does something not eat it? There must not be no bass around here. It must be a good sign to move on. I think I think that thing came across. It was 20 feet off the bank when I saw it. Midday reset. It's almost 11. It means we got about five hours of fish. I think that's right. I moved to the other side of the lake. Went back to the spot that um, I actually did my classic here, and I caught a few fish. All I need is to get a few fish, and I haven't caught anything today. So I had to make a big change, but get no bites. We'll go over here, and there's some channels up here. Maybe I can find something. There's already a guy over here behind me fishing, so it's probably a good area, which that's kind of what I wanted to come to anyway. So we'll see what we can catch. Well, what you're about to see might look familiar, but if it works, man, I'll be glad I tried it.
Oh my goodness. That was wild. Let me get this smiley on the board and measure it. See if he's gonna be an upgrade. 14 inches, not a big upgrade, but worth coming up here for. First bass today, I hooked this on the Hilgermite, and when I pulled it in, there was four other ones following it, and I saw one that was definitely bigger than that. All right, go tell your friends to bite. Oh man, let's get another one. Solid fish. Uh, he might not be bigger. There's another one. It's out of the same pack, I think. Cause there's a couple more following it. Dude, I may not be good at lakes, but this river creek stuff usually is something I can catch fish in if they're hungry at all. And they usually stay hungry, that's why I come up here. Okay, it may not be an upgrade, let's see how long it is. 12 and a half, it's not gonna be big enough to help me out. A pretty little fish, and at least I know they're hitting, that's two. three fish in like 10 or 15 minutes. I uh, fished for six hours a day and haven't got a fish. That's a large mouth. I wouldn't think he'd be up in here. I think I need to upgrade another 12 and three quarters. So let's see what he is. Thirteen, so we'll take a picture. Hopefully we'll cool him and Get a bigger one than that, but let's get him on the board and get a picture. Third fish out of here. Another one. I'm getting them a little on everything. I had four rods, had four different lures. This was my fourth one I had on there. Just a uh, fluke style lure, Houdini shad. And I was just kind of popping it and letting it sink. And uh, yeah, another one came up and hit it. Just trying to use as many different approaches as I can before I uh, move on up. Nice small mouth. Thirteen, so not gonna help us out. But another smiley. He's got. Oops, let me let him go. He looked healthy, but he had, he had one of his gills were like knocked out. He'd probably been caught before. I didn't do. I know I wasn't from mine because he'd been bleeding. So he got knocked in the gill and still living. So that's pretty crazy. Yeah. So this is where I'm caught, caught all at four fish at the back of this pool. That's where they're gonna sit a lot of times waiting for stuff to feed, to filter right through them. This is in their eating zone. And this current is pretty strong, but it's nothing for these, these types of fish. They get used to it. Four different fish, took three different lures though. A little different presentations to get different bites. So let's, uh, let's move up that way. Well, I'm currently 25th out of 97 people. I need at least five inches to have a chance to break the top 10, five more inches of length. So like a uh, 120 incher would be perfect. Uh, that'd be seven more inches or uh, an 18 inch. So we're going for, hopefully you can upgrade a few more times. Um, I don't even know if I have a couple 16s, but we're probably gonna need like a 17 or 18, but I'm having fun fishing right now. It's actually uh, enjoyable again. Little Smalley.
Thought I had a big one for a minute, I had so much slack in my line. Oh! It was probably another 12 inch one. At least I'm getting a few bites still. Still waiting on that bigger one. I just need that one big one to really help me out today. It really be, uh, be really exciting if I could get one of those. Oh yeah, so two hours left to go. I forgot to show you, I'm actually eating something good. And this is really good. This is just a great value trail mix, uh, breakfast. It's got some good stuff in there. Actually, uh, it's I guess it's probably good for you. It's the best snack I used, best snack, snack I probably ever ate. And uh, actually tastes good too, so I'm trying to do good this week. Just hooked up. It looks solid. The mate. Oh, well, he's a pretty fish. I'm not sure how long he is exactly, but a pretty small mouth. Oh, that might make a little bit of a difference. I just wait. I'm just standing here, same place I caught those other ones standing, in, but I, I came to the other side. That way I could fish it from different. And he was way over there in that far corner, drifted in. I think I missed him once. Threw it back over there and he hit it. Oh man, he shortened, he shrunk. Pretty fish though. He's only 14, 14 and a quarter if he lays still. Beautiful smallmouth, that's a good healthy river creek bass there. 14 and a half inches. So it is a little bit of an upgrade. So we're we'll getting back in the water. Well, that's uh, all she wrote for the fishing part of our two-day tournament. It is over. No more fishing. Kind of relaxes you after you're like, okay, finally, I'm just done. Because the whole time you're just waiting and waiting and waiting. Man, what? I felt like I did terrible both days. I still think I finished in the top 20, 20s somewhere. Uh, but because a lot of guys did terrible. And that, and that happens in every tournament. Some people are going to do bad. Some people do good. But... Yeah, it was a rough day. Only only place I catch fish today was at one spot on the creek. I fished the lake for I, I probably spent six hours on the lake five five six hours on the lake part. Didn't I didn't I didn't not not only did I not catch a bass I didn't see a bass I didn't have a follow didn't see a little bass didn't see any 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 kind of bass at all in the lake part which is almost impossible. So I don't even know how that works out. So uh, I'm gonna go over here and load my kayak up. We got some. They're gonna feed us here a little bit later on and do some maybe do some other things so we'll see what happens but oh, i'm i'm dead tired i'm uh i guess i'm i'm glad it's over with but i always want to do better i wanted to at least get top 15 when i was really thinking about it i would have been you know because there's a you qualify for something else can't what it is but just getting couldn't make it happen you can't make the fish eat especially if there's not any around you and you don't see them so i don't even know what was going on there and end of the day long two days of fishing great time hanging out not such a great time fishing i uh, had some good times in there it's a lot of fishing with a few little moments of excitement got some bumpy roads here so leaving spring city and just had they had some food there and 
and um, just got to see all the uh, people that are in my group. So there's like uh, there was like ten or eleven different groups that send their top ten people to this CAS state tournament and um, KSTs, and um, I got to do that uh, first year being in the group, and it was awesome. Um, glad I got to do it. Got in the twenties. I, I think I was twenty third, twenty fourth, something like that. Um, not worth staying around for any trophies or anything. And um, so we're gonna head on. I uh, it was it was tough, but it, I did better than a lot of really good fishermen. Some of the guys that I know in the group that I you know I, I was able to catch uh, more fish and bigger fish than they did. You know, so that's just how it goes. Some of the guys that won it just were on fish, like they were just all around fish. So. It's a uh, fishing's a it's a funny thing. Uh, it's fun and aggravating and get you know, just a lot of different emotions and especially during these tournaments and a lot of things you're trying to do. I got a cool uh, team jersey shirt. I'll have to show you that. That's uh, that was actually really nice. And uh, but man, great great time. G glad I got to fish a state tournament and I qualified in the top 20s of uh, almost 100 people. So pretty happy with that. So can't complain too much overall, just, you know, sometimes it's really hard when you're trying to fish really hard and you're putting all your effort into it and you, you want to just get some more fish and you just can't make it happen. But thanks for watching this end of this video. I probably wrapped both these days together, just kind of throw it all in there, make one, one fun video, one uh, probably fast paced, but just think of all this spread out over 18 hours of fishing. Yeah, 18 hours of fishing. So. Thanks so much. Appreciate the support. Thanks for watching.